Hey, welcome back. Today we are going to explore my home setup. Do you also have a remote job or work from home regularly? Do you also find yourself on the couch because your home setup is just uncomfortable? Do you sometimes struggle with your setup and thinking about is it worth updating or upgrading? Nothing is more frustrating than buying something new and explore that it's not as nice as you thought it is. For example, I updated my mouse like three times in a row. So stay with me and see how I upgraded my setup over the last five years to have like the optimal solution for me. If you have any suggestions, likes or dislikes, let me know in the comments down below. So the first thing I want to talk about is the keyboard. I upgraded to the Korn. Uh, if you didn't see the other videos, check them out. If it's worth updating, it's quite expensive. So I paid like 250 euros for the Korn. Before that, I used the Apple keyboard. This one is also quite nice, but I prefer the Korn. Before that, I also had two different Keychron ones, the Keychron K3. It is with blue switches. It feels quite nice, but I prefer the Korn. Also, I have the K12 uh, with red switches. To be honest, I absolutely love the blue switches, but they are way too loud if you are in the office. That's why I upgraded uh, the corn to the brown switches to just take it with me to the office and uh, work there as well without annoying all of my coworkers. Hey, want to hear the most annoying sound in the world? My second input device is the mouse. So I started as well again with the Apple standard one. I uh, liked it so much that I ordered the black one, the pro one, just because it looks nice. But to be honest, from an ergonomic point of view, it's just the worst thing you can have. Afterwards, I bought the Logitech M720. So there's no rechargeable battery inside and that's why I upgraded to the MX mouse, the MX mouse. And that's why I upgraded to the MX Master Mouse. This one is one of the best office mouses you can get. It feels like really comfortable in the hand. And yeah, for me at least it's perfect. I have the old one with micro USB. Also, I would suggest buying like a super small palm wrist. It feels way more comfortable with the palm wrist. Price-wise, the Logitech is quite expensive. It's around 90 euros. The other mouses are not worth the price because the Apple one is the same price and absolutely not worth the money as well as the old Logitech one. It's also 60 euros or something. Do not buy them. Buy the 90 euros MX Master one. Best uh, investment you can have for your desk setup. Remember yourself to the last stressful day. Afterwards, taking a nice walk outside. Release all the stress. Feel the nice wind on the skin. Breathe the air and see the greens on the trees. So there was in 2020 a Japanese study where they researched if greens have like a positive effect on your stress. And they found out that if you have like a green thing on your desk or in your like near side or if you watch outside the window, it releases your stress and can lower your heart rate. For me at least it is a nice add-on to have a plant at your desk to take a look at it and just relax your eyes and calm a bit down. It's like one of the things I can highly recommend is putting a plant on your table or behind your screen to have something in your view side where you can just take a look, take a deep breath and relax a bit. I will link the study down below if you want to take a look. Imagine the last time you sat at your desk, it was dark outside, you turned on the monitor and it just felt like burning in your eyes. You had like a ceiling light on, okay, it's like light in the room, but the front light from the monitor, it just burns into your eyes. So that's why I advise you put some light behind your monitor, something around the monitor to not only have the monitor light in your eyes. For me, at least I have an LED strip behind the monitor, as well as having a second light bulb near the monitor to like soften the light of the monitor a bit with some backlights. I use personally the Sennheiser MB660. They are quite expensive, I would say. They are 260 euros. I really appreciate that you can turn them on and off like this. And if you put them on, it feels really comfortable at your head. It has really good sound, uh, but the noise cancellation is not as good as from the AirPods or any other headphones I used. So at least for these ones, the sound quality is very nice as well as the microphone quality. So you can have really good Zoom calls with it. If I would not have them, I would not buy them again. And I think there are better options out there like the Bose ones. As a desk mat, I used the cork one from Ikea. Before that, I had some soft ones in black and different colors. But for me, at least, the cork one feel really good at my hands, as well as it fits to the wooden collar of my desk. 
And as said in my 10 things to buy, I also have their water bottles. So I always have this one at hand with some water in it to drink enough. That being said, one of the most important things still is the chair. I have the IKEA Marcus chair. It's for 180 euros, one of the best purchases you can get for a chair. Not without reason, this is the most famous office chair in Germany. During COVID, there were like for months sold out. I drove like three times to IKEA to just hope I get one. And uh, on the third run, I got like the last chair in black. It's definitely worth the money. So now you have nearly everything you need for your perfect home office setup. The last thing that is missing now is the monitor. I tried multiple monitor setup, but all of them, they doesn't feel like right. I really love like a clean, slick setup and I only want to have like one big monitor on the table. And also I prefer to store away my laptop and just have like a connecting cable to the monitor. That's why the perfect monitor for me at least is the 34 inch Xiaomi ultra wide monitor. It's curved, it has QHD, the refresh rate is 144. I paid like 350 euros for it and it's definitely one of the best monitors for this price point. Thanks for staying until the end. If you have any suggestions that I should check out, please comment below and see you next time.